Today, we're checking out the best vegan spots in Orange County to see how they're revolutionizing plant-based dining. I'm also bringing my husband, Nate, who doesn't eat vegetables to see if vegan food can win him over and to see if he misses meat. So our first spot is Cafe Gratitude that's been long known as a hot spot for vegan LA influencers. We were all vegan and I found my center. So while this is not a really sit down, order brunch type spots as their LA and San Diego restaurants, it's more of a grab and go cafe. They still have a very full menu. So here's everything that we ordered. They're known for their tonics and I ordered the I Am Golden, which is basically a golden milk. It's a turmeric latte that I I actually love and I never make it because I it just never tastes as good as when I buy it oh I taste the black pepper in there to activate the turmeric and then it's made with almond milk which is so creamy and surprisingly very creamy they also have a case of pastries and I opted for this apple cake that's made with apples coconut oil it's like gluten free as well and then this bowl you would never be able to tell that this is vegan but this is the i am blessed and it's basically blackened tempeh broccolini cashew mozzarella red sauce and then gremolata in here this looks amazing i love pasta holy cow the sauce is so delicious. I'm gonna try to find some tempeh in here because I've actually never had it before. I think I found some, it's like crumbly, kind of to, to resemble sausage. It definitely has like a beamy taste to it. It's not bad. I quite like it. It goes really well with the sauce in here and it has like a spicy kick to it. I'm impressed. I have never met a potato that I did not like. This is just a smashed potato. You can't go wrong with smashed potatoes anywhere. This one is the I Am Valued. It's a chorizo breakfast burrito. And if you guys have been following my channel for a long time, you know that Nate is a burrito connoisseur. So I had to order a burrito to get him to try it, but I'm gonna try it first. It's very bean centric. Ooh, there's like crunchiness in here too. What's in here? So you have chorizo, tofu scramble, potatoes, avocado, black beans, almond burrata. It's the almond that I'm tasting. And finally, we have the apple cake. All of these apple-y layers. Mmm. Because it's gluten-free, the layers in between taste a little bit more custardy. I wouldn't say mushy because the apples are actually very firm, but it's not as like cakey as I thought it would be. But the flavor is there. It's just the texture is a little bit different than I'm used to. Overall, I think the food is really good. I think this, if you told me that it was vegan, I wouldn't know. I wouldn't think so. I would eat this. But you guys know the challenge is whether I could convince Nate to eat vegan food or enjoy it. Number one, if he's impressed by it. And number two, if he misses me. So let's turn the tables and see. It's actually really good. I do notice a lack of meat, but it, it's very tasty. I have to say, I think this could substitute for a real burrito every now and then. That was surprising because I did not think that he would like it because of like the almond texture in there. But hey, he convinced me. And now I actually want to see if he'll like the pasta. I was so nervous. It's good, right? It's really good. Are you surprised? I'm super surprised. Where's the broccoli? I don't know what broccoli is. I'm surprised how rich it is for like having no dairy in it. This is really good. We don't have to go anywhere else. What would you rate this? I have no reference, but I'd say eight. I'd say eight's pretty good too. Now I'm here at Vibe Organic Kitchen in Costa Mesa. As you can see, it's definitely a vibe. I feel like I'm just in a paradise of healthy utopia here. Believe it or not, this is one of my favorite restaurants in the area and I get cravings for some of their foods like the chia parfait, their smoothies, they have a matcha mint cacao one that is so good and they even have the best breakfast tacos in town. But then it's like a mini Erewhon in here where you have things like sea moss gel which I'm so curious about what it actually does and this chia parfait with the blue magic is one of my favorite things to eat. So I'm here with founder and owner of Vibe Organic Kitchen, Josh Liebowitz, and I just wanted to learn more of your philosophy and how you started Vibe. Thank you for coming today. I started Vibe in 2017. Our first location was in Newport Beach. I kind of think about what we're doing as we're a vegan restaurant for non-vegans. 
Our food is just healthy, it's delicious. Many of the people that eat here are coming for a great healthy meal and they're going elsewhere for dinner and they're eating meat and chicken at home. Mm -hmm. Totally fine. Josh is giving me a peek behind the Kim Kardashian fridge. We get delivers every day. We stock fresh just about every single day. Raw product that we use for our, um, for our juice bar. Everything that you see here will be gone today and will come in fresh again tomorrow. Wow, that is so yeah. amazing. This is gonna be the filling of the breakfast tacos. So it's a mix of our cauliflower scramble, which is mostly cauliflower, some other veggies and seasonings and then a scoop of homemade mushroom and pumpkin seed chorizo. So I've been seeing sea moss gel everywhere. Everyone's putting it in smoothies. I have no idea what it is. So Josh, what is sea moss gel? It's sea moss that comes from St. Lucia and it has about 90 different vitamins and minerals that most of us are commonly deficient in. It's very good for skin, hair, nails, immune health lungs, and it's been used traditionally in the Caribbean for hundreds of years as a health and vitality supplement, and it's finally gaining some popularity here. Even the water is so healthy. So it's naturally alkaline and remineralized water. So here are all the goodies that they made behind the scenes to show you guys. We have the Mediterranean macro bowl. We have my favorite, which are the early bird tacos. It's essentially made with cauliflower and mushroom chorizos, just like very whole foods that they flavored really well. And then this is the wrap that Josh was talking about. It's the avocado Caesar wrap. I'm excited to try this. This is the chia parfait that I was showing you guys earlier. Have to take a quick bite real quick. Mm. Mm. I'm gonna wash it down with their Coco Loco drink, which reminds me a lot of the cloud smoothie from Erewhon. I haven't tried that yet, but this makes me so excited because it just saved me an hour and a half trip to LA to get a smoothie there. So, mm. this is so yummy. It's like coconutty. It's fruity, there's a hint of pineapple in there. Okay, and then this is the macro bowl where it's filled with vegetables. There's a lentil and quinoa base at the bottom. Just looking at this makes me feel so much healthier. Like if I could eat like this every day, imagine how much healthier I'd feel and be. It's just so flavorful. The homemade kraut has like a sour kick to it. And then just all the different textures from the crunchy kraut to like the creamy lentils to the roasted squash and kale. Every bite just feels and tastes interesting. And then the avocado Caesar wrap. We have that cashew cream sauce as well as a hot sauce here, which I will add. What's in here? It's so good. I don't know how to explain it, you guys, but literally whatever they did to the food here, it was just so delicious and craveable. Like I don't, I when I tell you I don't miss the meat, I really don't because it's so, the texture, the flavors are all there. And finally, my favorite, the early bird tacos, which you know, I actually get this for lunch quite often. It's not just a breakfast taco. Let's see what this green sauce is. It's a very loaded taco. And then they have like the beet corn tortilla. I'm gonna try not to spill everywhere on camera. All right, let's do this. There's also pumpkin seeds in here that gives it a little bit of a crunch, followed by not super mushy mushrooms that just comes together. And then the cauliflower scramble, this place is it. Honestly, this place is so good. I'm just gonna sit here and finish all my food. That's a good burrito. If I didn't know that was plant-based, I mean, that could have fooled me. That could have fooled me. How would you rate it? Nine out of 10. 10 out of 10. And now for dinner, we are headed to the plot in Costa Mesa, where their mission is to make plant-based foods irresistible. So as you enter the restaurant, it's very reminiscent of a yurt or like glamping. It's very rustic and boho, and it's such a vibe in here. So I'm here with the owners of the plot, Jessica and David, who is basically out to revolutionize plant-based dining. The mission really came from both of our shared vision that we want to do something better for communities, something better for the planet, for the animals, for our bodies. And one way to do that is to source food that is growing locally. We have a a lot of fun. We got a team of mad scientists back there, and we all just 
love food, all types of food. And we have a mixed team, you know, there's vegans and non-vegans back there. But we kind of just work together and rather than saying we're going to be this or going to be that, it's just like how many fun things can we do with plants? This is dried kombu seaweed. It's just water. Just water. Okay, the food is here, and the first thing that I have to point out is the plating. It's just so beautiful, very much like earthy, and the flour, using every part of the ingredients that they cook with, really, really shines through. But first, I'm gonna try the carrot fish taco and see if it actually tastes like a fish taco. Cheers. Which you guys saw how they like simmered it with the seaweed. It was like infused carrot fish flavors it's it's really unique and this one is really well done where it's delicious what i'm really excited about is the spam made with red lentils and beet and the inspiration for this bowl was actually from the bibimbap with the crispy rice the tulsat bibimbap let me just try the rice real quick mm. love the slaw love the crispy rice it has like a smokiness to it too and then we have our red lentil spam it's crazy how much it looks like spam like it's got its coloring from a little bit of the beet that's insane it's almost exactly like spam like i'm not kidding you guys to when i say that the texture is so real that's crazy you definitely could have fooled me and finally, Chef wanted me to try their Reuben, which is made from beets, and it's got a smokiness to it. They also use the beet to make their ketchup, the beet juice to make their ketchup. Let's try this. There's just something about pastrami that's like so heavy and so salty that I don't generally like it, but this one, it just feels light, it's flavorful, there's like a nice smokiness to it. It's very comforting, but it still tastes like healthy, but all the flavors are there. I'd say it's almost just as satisfying. I mean, you can't fool yourself that it's meat because it is a carrot, but it's probably one of the better carrots I've had, right? Like all the flavors are good. Like I've had worse tacos. Try the Spam Rush. It's a little bit softer than Spam but I wouldn't be able to tell it's not me. So then the question is, which one did you like the best? The dishes? Probably the Spam and Rice. I think my favorite was the Beet Reuben. It was good too. It was really flavorful. What would you rate this place? For a vegan place, probably yeah. nine out of 10. And Chef wanted to treat us to desserts. Here we have the banana creme brulee and the chocolate mousse, which looks so beautiful. And I think it's cool that the creme brulee has like this very interesting yellow sheen to it from the banana peels. I have never had banana peel before, but this is insane. It's hard to explain, but exactly how the smell is when you crack open a banana, the peel tastes like this. It's delicious. That tastes like chocolate ice cream. In fact, it reminds me of the filling from the marble cakes and the swirly croissant that we just had in the Bay Area food tour video. It's so good. So overall, I would say I had a really great experience trying out all of the different restaurants, all the different vegan restaurants in town. I think it's so unique how all the different chefs took a very interesting approach to their food all very extremely creative if you were to go in not knowing that it was a vegan restaurant i feel like you would totally be satisfied at least that's how i feel and it seemed to prove that nate felt this way too so i guess we will not be hitting up a meaty spot in this video but i think going forward i would love to try to integrate more meatless days into my diet maybe not go completely fully vegan but maybe like once a week or even like one a meal a day and and really stretch my creativity with utilizing vegetables as a way of making it a little more interesting because then maybe my family will actually eat vegetables maybe it's just the preparation but i hope you guys like this video and go check all of these restaurants out because they were all delicious i'll see you guys in the next one bye